No more charges left. Last player standing. I have this fight. Long, 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 long. One enemy remaining. <laughs> <laughs> What is up YouTube, it's Dr. Zor helping cure you from being a noob. There's so many different crosshairs out there, so how do you know which one to use? So that's what we're gonna go over today, multiple different crosshairs and reviewing the pros and cons of each. If this video helps you out, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, let's go for 400 likes here, and comment down below on what crosshair you use. I also stream on Twitch, so make sure to follow that as well. Everything's in the description. Let's get into it. Jumping right into it, the first crosshair is the dot crosshair. You may have seen some professional players using this, such as pro players scream. So essentially to get this crosshair, you put on center dot and then you get rid of the inner and outer lines. And essentially what this will do is really give you a fine point of focus. You have one dot that's on the screen and all you have to do is focus on putting that one dot onto the player's head. This usually is useful for helping you just focus more on seeing the enemy and then you have that small cross here that you just have to adjust so that's the main advantage with this cross here moving on next we're gonna go over the different crosshair sizes that you can have you can have a small crosshair medium crosshair or a large crosshair now again picking the right crosshair will depend on your skill level and your preferences I will start off with the large crosshair as it should be the most recommended if you're a new player the dot crosshair again is pretty useful for fine focus but if you're a new player, you will likely want a large crosshair so you can focus a little bit more on the crosshair itself. Having bigger objects on the screen to focus on is important as a new player as you just haven't developed those skills yet to really fine tune your aim and fine tune your vision to focus on a smaller crosshair. So with the large crosshair, again the settings are in the description, I would recommend this if you're a new beginning player so that you have that large focus and can eliminate enemies better with a larger target per se. All right, if that's enough to tickle your jimmies, you'll be tickled even more with this next crosshair, the medium crosshair. This is probably the most common crosshair that players will use, specifically because it's the best of both worlds. You have a crosshair that's a relatively good size so you can see it and put your aim onto the targets. Along with that, it doesn't take up a lot of the space on the screen, so again, you just have more focus that you can do on the enemy models themselves. Again, if you're a newer player, you want to have a decent sized crosshair so that you can see it as well as see the enemy players. And the medium crosshair can be a good progression from the large one as it takes up less space but still gives you that fine focus that you need to tap onto people's heads. All right, we're gonna go into the nitty gritty details of your crosshair in just a second, but we need to talk about the small crosshair. In my opinion, this is definitely a more niche down category. The crosshair is smaller, so it can be difficult to really focus in on that crosshair, but you can focus a little bit more on the enemy targets. Again, this crosshair is really for the more advanced players, the ones that feel really comfortable with their sensitivity, their aim, they know how to move their crosshair well, and thus they can focus more on enemy targets and then use their mouse and move accordingly to that. The main idea with this crosshair is less space taken on the screen so you can focus more on enemy models and you just have mastered that crosshair so you can move it wherever you'd like and you just match it with the enemy models themselves versus if you have those other crosshairs that we just mentioned you're kind of doing a half half mix where you're half and half with aiming your crosshair and also trying to identify and locate the enemy and putting those two together to get onto the head. So those are the main areas for your crosshair that most players will use and from there it's really adjusting things to your liking. You can make the lines of the crosshair shorter or longer or you can also adjust the gap in the crosshair to be bigger or smaller. Those are really more to your preference but I would say for the gap in between the crosshair you should make that a little bit bigger if you're a new player so that again the crosshair fits into the enemy models. From here though there's a big setting that I would recommend new players to really turn on and that is firing error. What this means is if you shoot your weapons and this will indicate 
indicate the amount of recoil that you're having and the amount of spread that your gun will have when you fire. The more you spray, the more recoil you'll have. Is look at this firing error and when your crosshair spreads a large amount, that's a big indication that you probably are spraying too long and you should back up and let the crosshair reset. So when the crosshair resets, it'll go back to that original size and then you know you can be accurate again. This is really good especially if you are a new player, you'll get to learn the recoil for your weapons and then you'll be able to master more of the timing on when you can shoot and when you should stop shooting and reset and then fire again. To take it that one step further, you can also turn on movement error and firing error together. This is the best way to play for new players that are getting into Valorant. When you move, the crosshair will spread a lot and this will indicate that you won't be accurate if you were to fire a shot in this position. But with movement error, you want to wait for the crosshair to go back to normal before you shoot and that's how you know that you'll have an accurate shot. Likewise, with the firing error turned on as well, you'll know when the recoil gets too big and that you need to stop firing and let it reset. So ultimately, with these two settings, you'll be able to tell when you will be most accurate. You'll be able to control your movement better and time your aim precisely to that and then you'll be able to control your recoil better and let that reset before firing as well this is the optimal way to really figure out when you're going to be the most accurate in valorant and last but not least we're going to go over the crosshair color with the crosshair color you want something that can be easily seen you don't want to spend your time squinting and trying to see where your crosshair is due to the color the most common colors that people will use is green green, cyan, white or yellow. These colors are nice and bright so they can be easily spotted so that you can focus more on your aim rather than trying to identify where your crosshair is on the screen. There's no real crosshair color that's most optimal out of those choices I gave you. So from there, it's testing out those choices and finding what suits you best. And if you guys still need some inspiration, what you can do is you can go into the prosettings.net. I do have some crosshair settings in the description as well on everything that we talked about. We can also go on prosettings.net and take a look at some of the pro settings that players have. We have Shroud over here. You can take a look at his crosshair, try these settings out, see if they work for you. And then if that doesn't work, you just have to go back, take a look at someone else, maybe Hiko, try to look at his crosshair here see how that feels and then really test go around and test all the different crosshairs that players have i think shroud has a very interesting one hiko has a more standard crosshair that people use we also have scream over here if we click on screams crosshair he also uses a more of a dot style so there's all these different options that you can check here and test all the different crosshairs and find again the perfect crosshair that works for you and make tweaks from there that is all I have for this video. I hope to help you out. And I will just end with saying that crosshair is really a lot about preference. There's all these different options that you can choose, the dot crosshair, some people use a square. There's so many different variations for the crosshair. And what it comes down to personally is preference. Test different options, find out what works best for you and what feels most comfortable for you. And that is the perfect crosshair for you to use. Everyone's different and you gotta find what is the best option option for you to take to accelerate your gameplay again if this video helps you out make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video let's go for 400 likes and comment down below on what your crosshair settings are and lastly make sure to follow me on twitch so you can get into the live streaming action we do coaching sessions as well as viewer games all right that's all i have i'm dr zora helping cure you from being a noob and i'll see you guys next time peace Enemy down. Okay. One enemy remaining. Ooh. I <laughs> have Someone had it. I just bought it. So I just picked it up. <laughs> oh, all five. All five are here. Got three? One more long. Out of here. I got bomb on shower. Uh, I'm nice. looking over. Okay. I'm gonna go heal some noobs. Oof, oof, oof. Nice. Mm -hmm. Damn, yeah. Two are long. Oh. Rotate A? Enemy down. Yeah, rotate. Two A short. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That man was blind. 
I hit him three times. Nice. Okay. Never mind, you don't need tips for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude.